Hi, I'm Joe Goffman, and I want to tell you about EPA's proposed clean power plan to cut carbon pollution from power plants by 30% by the year 2030. By looking across our whole power sector, we can take this important step to boost our economy, protect our health and environment, and fight climate change. Coal, natural gas, hydropower, nuclear, wind, and solar. All of these supply the electricity that we use every day in our homes and businesses. But when fossil fuels like coal are burned to produce electricity, they release carbon dioxide, trapping heat in the atmosphere and leading to climate change. Global climate change could threaten our very way of life. Floods can destroy our homes and communities, drought can disrupt our food production and water supplies, and severe weather can cause costly damage to our nation's economy and infrastructure. The best and cheapest way to cut carbon pollution is to generate more power from the cleanest sources and then use that energy more efficiently. Each part of our system offers huge opportunities to reduce the pollution that leads to climate change. We can make improvements at power plants themselves. We can expand renewable energy, generate more of our electricity from cleaner sources, and increase energy efficiency. EPA is not doing this alone. States, cities, and businesses have already shown that with these steps, they can waste less energy, cut pollution, and still provide the power we need to keep our economy growing. And most importantly, we can protect our health and our climate now and for future generations. Before we wrote the proposal, we heard from thousands of people on the best way to move forward. We learned that by providing enough time and flexibility, in 15 years, we can cut carbon pollution from the power sector by at least 30%, with significant cuts starting in the early years of the plan. We can also cut the pollution that leads to smog and soot by 25%. Yet even with these big reductions, coal and natural gas will continue to supply most of our electricity in the future, with each projected to provide more than 30% of our power in 2030. In the coming months, we'll be listening to feedback on the proposal, and we want you to be part of the conversation. Learn more at our website.